The British drone firm Malloy Aeronautics just strapped America's smallest air-to-air -air missiles to the Marine Corps' TRV-150 resupply drones, demonstrating its ability to strike targets both in the air and on the ground, in what could be a huge development for unit-level air power. The TRV-150 unmanned resupply drones been in service with the U.S. Marines since 2023, and they started long-term operational trials with the British Royal Navy's HMS Prince of Wales Carrier Strike Group just a few months ago. With eight rotors and a top speed of around 67 miles per hour, or around 108 kilometers per hour, these Group 3 drones can deliver up to 150 pounds of gear, supplies, or ammunition more than 43 miles out while flying autonomously or under manual control. But now they've paired this drone with the Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System 2, or APKWS-2, which we've talked about several times before. These weapons began as unguided and pretty cheap 70mm Hydra rockets. BAE Systems, which is also the parent company of Malloy Aeronautics, first added a new section to the rocket with deployable fins that housed four small laser seekers, turning these unguided rockets into laser-guided missiles that can be launched from the air or on the ground to strike targets anywhere from three to around seven miles away. And it wasn't long before the U.S. realized that this laser guidance kit would also make it possible to hit airborne targets with these small, inexpensive missiles. So they set to work loading them onto fighters like the F-15E Strike Eagle to dramatically increase the number of air-to-air -air missiles they can carry with them into the fight. Before long, those laser seekers were replaced with new infrared seekers, turning these laser-guided weapons into full-fledged heat-seeking air-to-air missiles, with about half the explosive power of a standard Sidewinder. And because these weapons cost significantly less than kamikaze drones like Iran's Shahed 136, this makes the APKWS-2 not just America's smallest air-to-air -air missile, but maybe the most potent air-launched drone killer on the market. Now, footage released by Malloy shows the drone carrying and firing a single APKWS-2 missile, though it looks a bit like there's room in that launcher for three of these weapons. And at around 32 pounds per missile, plus that launch rig, that's probably the TRV-150's maximum loadout. Now, that might not sound like much, but it's important to understand the kinds of drones that this platform would be trying to take out. You don't use the APKWS-2 on Group 1 or 2 drones, or the kinds of small quadcopters you see in drone swarms. There are different defensive systems for those. Instead, these weapons are meant for use against Group 3 or larger drones and even cruise missiles, meaning long-range weapons that weigh more than 1,320 pounds and can fly for hundreds or even thousands of miles. Drones, again, like Iran's Shahed 136, which has an 11-foot wingspan and a range of about 1,600 miles. Now, these weapons are launched in higher numbers than more expensive cruise missiles, but at somewhere between $50,000 and as high as $500,000 apiece, there are rarely a whole swarm of them bearing down on one target area. And that means a dozen or so Marine Corps TRV-150s scrambled at the earliest sign of inbound drones could make short work of maybe as many as 36 kamikaze drones all on their own. But it's important to keep in mind that capabilities like this are not seen as a primary means of air defense, but rather as a supplement to ground-based systems that would also be working to swat down inbound drones. But more broadly speaking, this development points to the long list of air defense capabilities that are coming online practically every day at this point, and are designed to provide networked overlapping protection against everything from off-the-shelf quadcopters to ballistic missiles. Like any kind of air defense, countering drones isn't about fielding one incredible new system, but rather a bevy of them, so commanders can find creative solutions to problems in the field. And if I'm honest, giving the Marines a bunch of drones packing air-to-air -air missiles just sounds like a pretty good time, too.